Well, what's up, America? Um, this is old Jim Bob coming to you at the Commentaries channel. Um, I told you uh, in one of my earlier clips uh, when I was up there in Washington, I'd get back to you and give you a report on what I found out up there. So uh, this, is, this is it. I'm going to tell you about what I found out up in there in Washington. So I went around over there. I walked up and down the halls of Congress, in and out of them offices, and talked to different senators and congressmen up there. I ain't going to give no names because I don't want to embarrass nobody. And uh, a couple of them swore me to secrecy anyhow. So I got some top secret information. I can't share that with you, but I can sort of... Um, uh, you just have to know that I know what I'm talking about on account of I, I got the top secret information. And uh, so anyways, uh, I was asking some of them, I said, uh, how come y'all ain't got nothing done up here in, uh, I don't know, what, eight years? I don't know, it's been a long time since you've done anything worth the shit. And, um, and so that's when some of them said, well, I'll tell you, but you got to... Uh, swore to secrecy and not tell who I am and I said alright you'd be my uh, confidential informant and so uh, they did they told me uh, some information and uh, I'm gonna share it with you in a little while just just be patient you'll see so uh, uh, then I'll try not to go over there to the White House and see what Obama was doing and uh, so I was walking around out there and uh, I saw this feller with a um, thing up in his ear. I know he was a Secret Service guy, and so I walked up to him. I said, uh, "Hey, uh, I always admired the Secret Service, and uh, I just want to tell you, I think you're doing a good job, contrary to what they've been trying to do to you on the TV news. Uh, I know you fellers have done the best you can do, and you're doing pretty good. There ain't nobody killed Obama yet, so." You got to be doing pretty good because the hell is a lot of people out there want to kill him. So uh, anyway, he said, well, I didn't know how you was going to know I was a Secret Service. I said, well, it ain't too hard if you just think about it a little bit. I said, now look here, I, said, I want to go over and talk to Obama. I said, can you get me in? He said, oh, sure. I said, uh, I've seen your TV show. He said, uh, I know you're upstanding the market. He said, uh, let's go on over there and uh, Obama's having lunch. And uh, I'll see if I can get you an appointment when we talk to him. And I said, well, I sure appreciate that. So well, we went on over there to the White House and went on in and went down the hallway there a little bit and uh, come up on this room and opened the door. And uh, by God, there he said, uh, B. Rock Obama, he's eating lunch in a little old room. It's a little room. You'd think it'd be in a big room, him being the president, but it weren't. It was a little old room. Wasn't much or nothing in there, and he was eating his lunch. And I said, uh, uh, Mr. President, uh, I don't want to uh, impose upon you. You want me to come back after you eat your lunch? He said, No, oh, no. He said, Come on in here. Let's let's talk about it a little bit. I I, I enjoy having company at, at lunchtime. And uh, he said, I've seen your show, and uh, I like it. And I said, well, I appreciate that, Mr. President. I like it when I see you on TV, too. And so I went on in there, and he said, uh, what would you like to have to eat? He said, I'll get you anything you want to eat, and uh, we can, uh, you want to have a beer? I said, oh, yeah, man, I'd like to have a beer. And he said, okay. And I said, what would you like uh, to eat? And I said, I like one of them uh, a Reuben sandwiches. I like them Reuben sandwiches pretty good. Did you get me one? He said, yeah. So he picked up the phone. He said, look, I'm, uh, bring me over here more Reuben sandwiches. And... Um, and the beer and I can't tell you what kind of beer because then I'd be advertising and uh, and until I get uh, well, advertising lawyers to straighten out the stuff about uh, the beer I drink I can't really uh, divulge what it is but actually it's any kind of damn beer you give me so anyway uh, uh, we sat down there and we was talking and I said uh, Mr. President I said uh, I've been uh, you walking up and down the halls of Congress and, and talking to this and that and I said uh, they've been telling me why stuff ain't getting done over here I said I'd like to get your point of view on it and he said well I ain't got but a few more uh, months and years in here and he said uh, 
I do everything I can uh, to get good stuff done. He said, but uh, Congress and uh, Senators over there, some of them, they, most of them just won't do nothing I want to do at all. I said, well, hell, I know that. That's all over the news. You don't need to tell me that. And uh, he said, uh, I said, well, what, why, why is that? I mean, explain to me why when uh, you, you and all them others here, you get up on the TV and tell us this, that, and other, and you get elected, and then when you get in here, you can't get nothing done. And he said, well, I'll tell you, but it's a top secret. You can't tell anybody I told you. And uh, I said, well... I don't know, Mr. President. Are you telling me the same thing that they told me over there in the halls up and down the halls? You got to keep everything a secret. If you keep everything a secret, how are you going to get it fixed out of there? He said, "Well, uh, I'll you know, just uh, say I know some stuff." And I said, "Well, I bet you do know some stuff." So, anyways, we ate our lunch and we talked and we uh, laughed and had a good old time and. When we got done, I left, and then I come back home. So here I am. So uh, what did I find out up there in Washington as to why things don't work? Like I said, I can't divulge the who's and the where's and the word wipes, but I can tell you why that, that don't work. It's just as simple as you, you, it's so simple, you're going to be surprised you didn't figure it out on your own. Well, here it is. You see, when one of them fellers up there, let's just say, I'm going to give you an example, okay? A feller uh, writes the bill, a law. And uh, so he takes it on down to the law place and he puts it in the basket. Well, that ain't all of the story. Then he's got to get all of the peoples in the Congress to vote for his his law or it ain't gonna go nowhere so he just starts to going around you know like and selling it he goes to each store and he says uh, hey old buddy uh, let me talk to you about my bill and I said okay so he said well you vote for my bill and the feller says yeah that's a pretty good bill but look here um, uh, if you want my vote I need you to vote for me on something and uh, so he says to him well what they said, well, I need to get me a new air conditioning in it here. And uh, I've got a little rider I'm going to stick on the bill for the, um, Obamacare. And, uh, and that'll get my new air conditioner. You vote for that and I'll vote for you. I said, well, okay. So they agreed on it. And he goes on down to the next door. And goes in there and says that and said, I got me this bill here, and I want to get it passed. I need to get your support on it. And Feller looks at him and says, Yeah, I like that's a good bill. We need to get that done. But I got me a, a, a bill I want to uh, vote on. I'm having a hard time getting it through. And uh, I wonder if it, I vote for you, will you vote for my bill, and that way we'll trade it out. And so I said, Well, what, what's your bill? And he said, Well, it's a. Uh, it's a bill to build a bridge of nowhere. And uh, so I said reluctantly, uh, or he said reluctantly, uh, well, okay, I'll, I'll do you the trade out. And so, uh, so on and so on, and that's the way it goes. And uh, so, you see, you think that's uh, uh, corrupted. I do actually think that is corrupted. And, um, and so, you think, well, our founding fathers didn't intend for nothing to be that way. Well, I got news for you. Our founding fathers was pretty smart, and they did a good thing in the writing the Constitution and so on and so forth. But actually, the very first time that their sort of situation and came up uh, was when the uh, uh, Bill of Rights and stuff was being being uh, figured out. In South Carolina, that's where I live right now, we were the very first state to say, well, well, we'll do this if you do that. You see, it just started from the very beginning. And, uh, and uh, the uh, Constitution is a good thing, but it's got some problems with it. 
still today, for example, it says in there, there should be no cruel and unusual punishment. But when you go into the law books and you look over on the law side, it says that that, that law is so vague it you can't never do nothing about it. It's too vague. Ain't nobody ever never fixed that. That's still the same way. So that's just an example of some stuff. But that wasn't the top secret stuff I found out. We had some of the stuff I found out. Well, look, I'm a rambling on. This is getting to be a real long video. But uh, I did the best I could. And uh, and they, actually, those fellas up there is pretty good. But they're sort of stuck in the way the things is going. So um, you can vote them on out of there if you want to. But, you know, just a bunch more of them will come in there doing the same thing. I don't know. What the answer is to it, but I can tell you one thing, it ain't uh, much good the way it is. So anyhow, that's my uh, take on the Washington, D.C., and uh, I actually tell you I was a little bit disappointed about the trip, but it's over with now, and I'm back home. So, Jim's out.